Now we'll look at associated nets. You can assign associated nets through a dialog where any component that starts from reference designator prefix like passive components. You can add and assign them to associated nets or you can individually select nets attached to a passive component and from the right mouse button menu you can say you want to associate them. Once they are associated, you can now assign a rule. And this is a new one that I just created. But before I do this for the entire associated net, I'm going to assign length constraints to just one net of that associated net and restrict the length to be no longer 3 tenths of an inch. And then, if I select the entire associated net and assign constraints for the entire associated net, I make it no longer than 1.2 inches long. And once it's selected, I can issue the route command, and you'll notice that associated nets were routed automatically with the rules I set up. If I'm going to review that the associated net is routed exactly to be 1.15 inches long to meet the minimum length restriction, if I select an individual net that I assign the rule to, you can see that the net is routed with the exact length of 275 mils. So it is very easy to set up and follow the associated nets going through passive components.